Hello YouTube, Max here, um, uh, bringing another Technic episode, just gonna show you, <coughs> I played some yesterday, cause I couldn't resist, uh, I didn't do, I guess I did do a bit, um, we'll get into that once, once the world loads, there you go, okay, so this is where I had the mob spawner up in the sky, and we have the elevator rails, Oh goodness. No, go up. What is wrong? Okay. And <clears throat> I've wired it so that it's Tom. Wind up here is very loud. Um wired it so that I just flip this switch, boop, and it will send water down. And this actually works pretty well. Uh, the mobs don't just, like, spawn in crazy amounts or anything. And they spawn pretty quickly, um, if they're gonna spawn. Uh, the, the one weird thing, though, is this water. I don't know what it is about it, but I can't... Oh, there we go. I don't know. Before, there was some issue with the water where I couldn't, I couldn't, um, get out of the water. Like, if it was there, I had to break the block right there. So, um... Oh, whoops. Let's use my mouse. So, um... I figured out that the world cap is at 256 blocks. I wasn't real sure on that. I knew I was coming up to it. Um, and I just... I wasn't sure. So here, you can see I can't place any blocks up here. Um, I wanted to make it longer. If you'd see over there, that block right there. I was going to try and make it longer, just so like I'd have a better chance of them spawning. Like, because if it spawned further away... But, if you look at the mini-map, there are probably about, let's zoom in here, uh, I was going to say 10 or 15, just kidding, there's 6, I think, something like that, doesn't matter though, just turn this on, and here they come, inching forward, let's see the mini-map. On my, uh, old word, world, rather, that was, um, like, good. I had all the diamond stuff. I had a mob spawner. The mob spawner, though, I didn't make it high enough, and I was like, this thing sucks. There aren't enough mobs spawning. Um, but it's because it wasn't high enough, which, what the heck? How did that creeper explode? Whatever. Um, it's pretty much because it wasn't high enough. And mobs could spawn under it, which I didn't know. I thought I made it plenty high. But I didn't. Let's see what these other two mobs are. But it worked well. I d couldn't figure out how to, like, I wired it and everything. And everything was all good. But for some reason, it just wouldn't, um... Like, I had it wired. It was, um... You make, like, triangular pads... And the mobs spawn on those. You have half labs. And then you just have the water push them off. And they fall into like a water channel. And then you just, they fall down and like they take a bunch of damage. And then you just hit them. And I had that. And I had it wired so that all the pads except on one of the four sides worked. So it was just four of the pads that didn't work. Which um, is quite a bit of mob law. Like if, if that pad had worked. It would have spawned, like, there would have been many more mobs that came, but it was kind of nice, because, like, when I flipped the switch and pushed the water, uh, and the, turned off the water, then it would turn on the water on the pads that weren't wired with the other ones. Oh, God. So that there would kind of, like, always be mobs coming. And, uh, also, um, yeah. And then, uh, so I just, I did the mob spawner, kind of simple, pretty primitive, actually. Um, just wait for this jetpack, and I set up my nuclear reactor, and a quarry. And I probably need to add new engines, because they're, it's sim it's only running on 32 redstone engines. Which, I might add more, just, just cause redstone engines are really easy to make, and I don't have to ever check on them. So if I have like 100 redstone engines, I'm not, I'm not sure though, cause I think there's like a certain amount of engines you can have, and then like, productivity just kind of stops like it'll be good for a while and then I'll just be like okay we're at maximum 
output or whatever. Something like that. Oh, uh, you, what? How do I skeletons get that? Whatever. I'll just let them kill themselves. My money's on the guy on the right. Or left, my bad, my bad. Oh, wow. I should have stayed with my gut. Oh, juked. It's gotta be charged up. Bing, bing, bing. Alright. Red Matter Morning Star is pretty nifty. Um, since it has the pickaxes, shovel, and. Um, so I want pick a shovel. Oh, and hammer? The hammer lets you mine, like, really, like. I wanna say, like, and put it on Mega Impact, like this, and it'll make a 3x3, three three, like, block like that. And then if you right click with it, it'll make a 5x5, five five, I think? I, oh, no, no, my bad. It's a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. It's a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube, I think. Or maybe it's a 10x10. Ten ten. I don't know. I don't really remember. But it's very, very good for mining. And then just like, since uh, Dark Matter Shovel, Hammer, and Pickaxe, the hammer, when you right click, makes a giant, like, hole. The shovel, make it'll clear a layer of dirt, or it'll get rid of, like, a whole pocket of... Oh, yeah, I screwed up that. Um, whole pocket of gravel, and then the shovel, or the pickaxe rather, when you right click, it, um, will, on, a, on ores, when you right click on ores, it will, what the fuck? How is that impossible that it got up there? Alright, whatever. I don't know, this thing's been mess. this been, this has been wacky, because yesterday when I set it up, I don't know, I have to, like, always make sure I have one piece of UU matter in there so that it comes into the bottom. But this should be full of energy. Yeah. Let's see. I think I'll be good. Uh, I don't. The uranium cells will probably get depleted faster than. Uh, I don't even know what these cells are here for. These coolant cells. These don't haven't even done anything. But whatever. What is this? So yeah. Oh, I have this teleport pipe that comes from. I'll show you. Smurf cycle makes scrap. Uh, geothermal generated power that. Mass fabricator. NFSU, the nuclear reactor. What the? How am I supposed to get out of here? Okie doke. I don't know where the pressure plate went, but whatever. My, uh, my wheat farm got screwed up because what happened was I turned on the lever and I went to go do something with the nuclear reactor, and I completely forgot that I turned on the lever, and so it all went to waste. But it's whatever, because I could just put it in, um, which we'll call it, alchemy chest or something, and just get it copied if I really needed seeds or something, which I, I don't really need seeds, but something to do. Also, I just usually put the wheat or seeds into the quitesium, which, speaking of which, let's put this in. I I have no idea how to get like uh fragment of lost like other knowledges. I've gotten a few of them. I think I have to use yeah, like these forbidden artifacts. But oh, I'm gonna put my minecart onto the let me do that real quick. Hold on, guys. Let me check something right there. Eight minutes. Okay. So, got seven minutes. Er, <gasps> Enderman, what are you doing here? Boom. Boom. Yay, Ender Eye. I actually want to find the end. That would be very fun. 1000 EMC. Got it. Uh, I gotta put something else in here because. I have more red matter than I do dark matter, which is good, but um, it's kind of like weird, I guess. It's 39 red matter and only 12, 24 dark matter. I guess I could make the armor. Let's see. I want to. I want to get inferno. I think is what it's called. Infernal armor. Yeah. This is like the hardest thing in the game to make, though. I think, or it's worth the most EMC. 
You gotta get one of these, 25 million EMC. You have to get a body stone, which I have no idea how to make. Oh, that's not too bad. Especially with all the red matter I have. And then volcanite. Alright, that is not that bad either. I could probably make that right now, but then again, I do have to make the red matter armor and the dark matter armor, so. See, that's eight. And then. Eight. And then. To make that, it's just the MC. I need two red matter, and. So I need 11 dark matter, I do believe. Alright, let me see if I can put. Where is it? Where is it? This thing in here. Wow, that's jank. Um, I can put it in here, I think, though. Doop. There you go. Do 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 this in there. Take some tin. Sixteen. <laughs> this I have Ender in here. Or Ender Pearl, my love. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, the brains need to go over here. Okay, and now we will go to the nether and get some Rava. Twelve minutes. All right. After I do this, uh, it's probably gonna be the end of the video. But if you have enjoyed this video, please show your uh, favorite not favoritism, uh, enjoyment of the video by leaving a like. Ooh, is that a slime cube? Oh shit, that's a lot of stuff. Pardon my language. I meant, oh shoot. Or, uh, or f Oh! Silly me, I didn't make the tin into anything. But fret not, fellow... Races? Uh, okay, Philosopher's Stone, F. Philosopher's Stone is very nifty, because it's a cra- Oh shit. No! It's a crafting table. If you use whatever's button, oh my god, this mouse is pissing me off. You're pissing me off. Okay. I knew I was forgetting to do something. Look at all the lava. Wait a second. All right, sensitivity. If you think you're on a hundred, then good for you. This mouse is chasing me. I don't want it to hit me in the lava. That would be no bueno. Oh shit. Simply just trying to check and see how much energy my jetpack had. Oh god, lag. Oh, thank god for the nether. I would never be able to find this much lava. Well, actually, if you want to be precise, you could find that much lava by simply looking underground. But I don't want to do that kind of work or put in the effort. So yeah, this is it's pretty easy. Mm. Alright. Hurry up, you go so slow, game. Why'd you go so slow? Oh, very good, game. Very good. You go so, go so well. Oh, look at that. Perfect amount of geothermal energy. Yeah. Alright, well, that will wrap up today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a rating or like. Comment down below if you would like me to start a new series. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching.